A stunning twist in a story that made national headlines and had an entire community fearful and on lockdown for a time after a manhunt and a mystery that lasted for weeks. It was all about a veteran cop in Illinois, a father of four nicknamed G.I. Joe by his fellow cops, found shot dead two months ago. That all-out search costing taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars. But tonight, the bombshell revelation. Authorities say it was a carefully staged suicide. ABC's Alex Perez tonight. The manhunt, massive. Choppers in the air, police going door to door, hunting for three men they believed killed Lieutenant Charles Joseph Glinowitz. It began the morning of September 1st. Lieutenant Glinowitz radios in, saying he is pursuing three suspicious individuals. Minutes later, police discover him dead. Send everybody you possibly can. Um, officer is down. The community is shaken. Glinowitz, nicknamed G.I. Joe, was a husband and father of four. <sighs> Joe was my best friend in my world, my hero. <laughs> Hundreds of officers from all across the country attend his funeral. And it wasn't until October 1st, one month after Lieutenant Glenowitz was found dead here at the scene, that authorities revealed he was killed with his own gun. But they were still investigating the case primarily as a homicide. Good morning. Today, investigators revealed it wasn't murder at all, that the lieutenant staged his own suicide, even shooting himself twice, once under his bulletproof vest. They say he was about to be exposed as a thief for stealing thousands of dollars from a youth program run by the police department, spending it on mortgage payments, personal trips, gym memberships, and even adult websites. Glenowitz committed the ultimate betrayal to the citizens he served and the entire law enforcement community. And David, police reportedly spent more than $300,000 on that manhunt and investigation. Tonight, the family of Lieutenant Glemowitz calls this another day of deep sorrow. David? Alex Perez with us tonight. Thank you.